these recordings you see here were made from about 35 years to 50 years after the Civil War. And they have in common that they contain songs from the Civil War that were very popular after the Civil War, uh, well into the early part of the last century. And uh, they're uh, in a way controversial because there's both sides represented, the North and the South. And the South side particularly is uh, become rather controversial because of the business with statues and wanting to remove them. And I noticed on YouTube that, um, well, it's a little different. Some of the so-called coon songs uh, no longer have their comments uh, with them. They have been deleted. And I hope this doesn't happen with Civil War songs or Civil War rec related recordings because this is history. These recordings are uh, history as much as written material or as much as statues or any other monuments uh, that might, uh, and there are a number of them, a number of monuments. I'm um, in the St. Louis area. We currently have a controversy regarding a, a Confederate veteran uh, monument uh, uh, placed in Forest Park in the early part of the last century. And there's people who want to have it removed. And I've ran into the same sentiment with these early recordings that uh, they represent something that uh, should be edited and uh, uh, essentially, editing and uh, censoring history is basically dangerous. It's an Orwellian concept that um, has really some potential danger. But um, it, uh, this is one of the delights of record collecting with the old recordings. You run into things that are very different from what you find today in terms of culture, in terms of values, and uh, such is the case with Civil War related recordings. For Texas and for Louisiana, we'll join us in the play. We'll save us for a president and steam us a six for draft. We'll rally around the pony blue flag as far as a single star. controversial cylinders are early recordings that you might have. That's the actual national anthem or the main anthem of the Confederacy, recorded by Polk Miller, who was a officer in the Confederacy, when after the uh, Civil War, he farmed a group of, of farmer slaves and uh, called it Polk Miller's Old South Quartet, which performed at Confederate reunions. And uh, Edison recorded uh, Polk Miller and his quartet in 1908, and you heard a selection, you heard part of a snippet of that recording um, uh, originally made on a four-minute wax ambrel. <laughs> 